Hello guys, welcome to Dr. Science. So today we are going to talk about C-type lectin receptor. In this video, video I'll be talking about C-type lectin receptor, and not only that, I'll be talking about Manos receptors, and not only that, we will discuss about the Rig-like receptors. So let's start with the basic. Suppose here is a neutroph the macrophage this macrophage it is going to contain some receptors present on it so this receptor is called as the c type lectin receptor so what is the function of this c type lectin receptor it's quite simple suppose there is a fungal or there is a fungus and this fungus is going to have a lot of glycans on it. So what are these? These are the fungal glycans. So what is meant by a glycan? Glycans are nothing but your sugars. So the basic function of a C-type lectin receptor is to detect the fungal glycans. Once the fungal glycan is detected, the C-type lectin receptors are activated and there is a down regulation pathway which is there will be a similar inflama severe inflammatory reaction. And once there is a severe inflammatory reaction, the fungus is going to get eliminated from the body. So next we are going to talk about what are meant by rig-like receptors. So rig like receptors are very they have a very unique function so again here is a leukocyte and compared to c type lectin receptors the receptors uh, the rig like receptors they are present in the cytosol and the functions of this rig like receptors is very simple so here is a viral nucleic acid or viral dna or rna what is this? This is viral DNA or RNA or we can simply call them as the viral nucleic acid. So the, the functions of the function of this rig like receptor is to convert this viral active viral active viral nucleic acid into inactive to inactive viral nucleic acid so we can say that that rig like receptors help in killing of viruses they help in killing of viruses okay and not only that you will be hearing a lot about the G protein coupled receptors. So suppose here is a leukocyte and this leukocyte is containing a 7 pass receptor and this 7 pass receptor uh, let me check ok so here is a 7 pass receptor called as the G protein coupled receptor. Now the function of this G protein coupled receptors which are present mainly on the neutrophils and the macrophages so the function of this G protein coupled receptors is in the detection of bacteria suppose here is a bacteria this bacteria is going to have some peptides as you can see there are short bacterial peptides and on this short bacterial peptides, there is going to be a unique protein. And the name of this protein is your obviously N formide methionine. This N formide methionine is present on every bacteria, whether it is Staphylococcus, 
streptococcus or any other bacteria it is going to contain this n formal methionine okay every bacteria now this n formal methionine which is present on the bacteria is going to activate this g protein coupled receptors so once there is a activation of this g protein coupled receptors it will help in chemotaxis so what is meant by chemotaxis so taxis means basically in simple layman terms i will say it is like hiring a taxi hiring a taxi and going to the area of destination right so chemo taxis chemo taxis so taxis means taking a taxi and going to the area of destination so suppose here is a neutrophil and here is a bacteria now this neutrophil have to go to the near to the bacteria right it, it should go near to the bacteria or to the site of infection to the site of infection in order to kill the bacteria right so this n formal methionine which is present on the bacteria obviously it will help in chemotaxis because chemo means there is a chemical called as n formal methionine you simply remember like that it will help you okay and it is uh, going to the site of destination which is the infected site so neutrophil is going to the site of infection that is called as chemotaxis with the help of n methyl n formal methionine so that was about g protein coupled receptors finally we are going to talk about the manos receptors manos receptors and you will be hearing a term called as manos binding lectin receptors in complement system i will discuss this one there okay don't worry so this manos receptors are also similar to this uh, uh, the g protein coupled receptors suppose here is a leukocyte and this leukocyte is containing the manos receptors and the function of this manos receptors is to detect microbes okay suppose here is a microbe and this microbe is having some short proteins and at the terminal site at the terminal site there is a manos at the terminal site there is manos uh, glycoprotein hence this manos glycoprotein is manos residue to be more specific which is present on this microbe will eventually trigger the leukocyte by binding to this manos receptor okay so that was about the types of receptors which are very important now let's see this receptor i already talked about toll like receptors in my previous videos and nod like receptor is also completed toll like receptor also completed and as you can see there are c type lectin receptors which help which help in killing the fungus and c type lectin receptors are mainly present on the dendritic cells so here is a cell which is containing a lot of dendritic cell dendrites this cell is called as a dendritic cell which is also called as your antigen presenting cell i will discuss the antigen presenting cells in different video and not only that they are most the c type lectin receptors are mostly present on macrophages so i talked about c type lectin receptors and as you can see rig like receptors which are present in the cytosol and they are converting the viral rna or dna into inactive viral dna or rna okay so that was about it thank you guys